Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. What you're looking at is a very famous place. It's a place in northern Nevada called Lovelock Cave. And this cave is a place associated with a story. And this story is told by the Paiutes. Uh, the Paiute uh, colony, Indian colony, there in northern Nevada, say that their ancestors fought a tribe of red-haired giants and prevailed and burnt the last remaining few alive in this cave. And so to this, to them, this place is a very historic place but it's historic for other reasons as well because in 1911 this place was excavated uh, and over 10,000 ancient artifacts were removed from here along with those artifacts were mummies that ranged between seven and eight feet tall they say some went taller than that Lovelock Cave is, is formed from a limestone dome that has since collapsed. And at, in 1963, Emory Strong said that Lovelock Cave was 163 feet deep. But now it's nowhere near that. And the reason is because the bat guano that was so deep in this cave was backfilled and the cave is now uh, rather shallow there's an observation deck in it and you know there's just not much room other than that back in 2013 Don Monroe and I went into this cave and discovered a gigantic handprint and the gigantic handprint was um, 18 inches wide. This is Don holding a knife up against the handprint. By the time the November rolled around, the handprint was gone. You can see this is the same rock. Watch it fade. completely destroyed and I'm, I'm kind of here to tell you that I didn't, I didn't used to believe people would do that but I've changed my mind since this happened that people will try to wipe out or destroy history and it did so in this case with that handprint that perhaps there was were giants living in Nevada long ago and they left things behind like this handprint and now we don't have the handprint anymore but we still have Lovelock Cave the beauty of this place is in its desolation and remoteness out there in the you see some water in the distance is the ancient lake bed of Lake Lohentan and it was out in this lake bed that these red-haired giants were floating on reeds, a, re a rafts made of reeds, uh, much like they do in Lake Titicaca now. Uh, and they made a, a run for it at night. It came to shore and ran for the cave, and they were um, the cave was surrounded by the Paiutes and other Indian tribes. You can see the dome shape of uh, this limestone. You see some of the old trails that, that were used to get up there. Some of that, some of that is, is fill-in uh, where people have just uh, used the, the back guano was what it was originally mined for when all of the other stuff was found and then it was kind of turned over to uh, 
a young man who was 19 years old named Darrington, and he had a, f- a friend working with him or a fellow working with him named Llewellyn Loud. Neither one were what you would call certified anthropologists, uh, maybe somewhat. But they were being guided from back east by the Smithsonian. And the Smithsonian was run by a fellow who had uh, his own notions about the peopling of the Americas and the ancientness of places like this. And so, when they found giant mummies preserved in the bat guano, he had them reburied in the lake bed. Some of them were dug up again by the townspeople that lived in Lovelock. And then they were, uh, one of them was even boiled and a broth made and the, it was a civic organization, used it as an initiation ceremony. They drank it. And some of these ended up in museums back in Carson City and Virginia City and until the Repatriation Act. NAGPRA, in the mid-90s, forced them to rebury them or hide them. This is unusual to see this much green. It's not normally this green, but they've had rain, more rain than usual. And there's water in the old lake. And maybe the spirits of the Paiutes and the red-haired giants are stirring about now. I saw a pronghorn antelope running around up in this. Uh, where You know, usually you don't see anything. Don and I have found footprints out in the desert where you could hardly find them now because of the greenery and the brush growing but these were 20 inch long footprints we videotaped them so Lovelock Cave it's a place of mystery a place of beauty and the unexpected. I thank you for your time.